Morning guys, I'm just doing a quick video. Uh, I've had a few people ask me about uh, what different equipment I carry in my mooching bag when I go shooting. So I just thought I'd do a video, just go into depth about everything that I carry inside of it and uh, explain what I take it for um, and who it's by and stuff like that. So yeah, we'll get started with it. So first off, I just want to say this mooching bag is from uh, Wayne Martin at Catty Shack. Put a link in the description uh, to his uh, website and you can have a look for your sends and stuff. But it's a pretty decent bag, canvas bag. Um, plenty of compartments and stuff on it. And really solid material. Um, it does hold, it is a game bag, so it does hold your game for you, but I prefer to have a game hold around my neck. A uh, bit of Harricode that just holds my game and then put all my equipment in this bag that I take with me. So I'll show you what's inside now and uh, explain everything. So we'll start off at front compartments first. So in this front compartment here, that's where I keep uh, all my ammo. I shoot 9.5 mil steel, uh, steel ball bearings. I don't know if you can see that. Um, say it in all my videos, head and neck shots, so you don't need to use big ammo. But that's where I keep my ammo, just in that front pocket. So obviously if I've got it outside of me, it's easily accessible. I can just stick my hand in, grab a couple of out, and then I'm ready to go. Just under this one here. That is where I keep a spare, one of my catapults that I take with me. This is the Goblet Evo. By Wayne Martin at Catty Shack, same place where I got bag from. Wayne Martin is a well-known uh, shotgun shooter, but obviously a really skilled with catapult as well. But yeah, that's Goblet Evo. That's 304 stainless steel, 10 mil thick. Check and grip, 90 mil wide, chamfered brace grip. That's where point seven two GZK green with a 24 to 19 taper. Perfect for shooting 9.5 mil steel. You just absolutely pelts them out at some massive speed. But yeah, Goblet Evo. That's in that goes in the front pocket underneath my ammo. In this side pocket here, I like to keep a bag of loom bands. So they help if you're tying your bands on, they help to keep your hold your band in place while you're wrapping and tucking around your band. Saves your band from moving all over the place where you can't hold it properly. So uh, they just help to keep it still. So loom bands in that pocket. And I've also got Zippo lighter. Do carry a ferro rod with me, but obviously if all else fails, I've got a lighter with me, just in case. So that goes in that pocket too. And I've got, ah, John Jeffrey's custom catapult ca uh, patch. I don't need to put that on this bag, so I just shoved it in there for a minute just while I do uh, stitch this patch onto the bag, and then I know where it is then. And that's it for that pocket. Moving on to this side pocket, I like to take little uh, tea light candles. Uh, not because I like lighting them, but. Uh, if you take them out of metal casing and take a wick out, they make really good exploding targets, plus they're a small target to practice on, which is always a good thing. But like I said, you take them out of metal casing, uh, set them up in a tree somewhere, or in uh, on a fence or something like that, and uh, shoot from 15 metres, and they're a really good small target to practice on. Um, Really inexpensive, you can get a bag of like 50 for a couple of quid. Um, a lot cheaper than buying chalk targets off of eBay or something. But yeah, really like to keep them in, in that pocket just to have a practice on while I'm out and about. Moving around to the back, in this large pocket at the back, blue tack. Same thing, uh, this is mainly for my target practice, same thing with candles. Um, I like to put a little bit of blue tack on a one pence coin, stick it to a, a fence or something like that. 
and go back to about 15 metre and just have a practice on an even smaller target. This just helps obviously Colin stand up so it don't fall over. Uh, so I always carry blue tack with me. And then I've got angling and book. Um, I'm a pike angler myself and uh, it's always good to just have a little bit of a, a read. Different, obviously it shows you different fish, different methods of fishing and stuff like that. Not that I don't know it, but it's always just, it's always good to just jog your memory a bit. Tells you about different fish and how to fish for them. It's always good if you take in, like, I'm thinking of taking the nephews uh, out mooching with me. Obviously it's good to teach them as well. But yeah, angling handbook, that goes in back pocket. I've also got, these. This is a bag with my rabbit snares in. Let's get one out for you. Two seconds. I'm a bit tangled up. Rabbit snare. I set these on for mission. These are also from Catty Shack from Wayne Martin. Just a simple running snare. Brass wire, a brass eyelet going down to a tealer. It's sticking ground that just holds the snare in place. I did I did explain on one of the other videos uh, how you want to set a snare and stuff. So if you go back and look, it should show it. But obviously tealer and then your stake that goes into ground. So they just get kept in, all in the bag together. Try not to touch them much, obviously, because you don't want much, much of your uh, scent going onto them before you set them out. So obviously, that puts rabbits off. So that was it, back pocket. Now moving on to the main top compartment. Uh, this is where you normally put your game. I have done it past, but obviously I find it better for me to lose a game older and uh, put them around my neck. So, in top top uh, compartment we have waterproof sealed tub with spare band sets in. Obviously there's no worse than going out with your catty hunting, hoping to shoot some stuff and your bands snap on you. Obviously they don't last forever, but new band sets that have been tied just keep them in a waterproof waterproof case and that way they can't get damaged so they go in top compartment I've also got another spare catapult that's it with me there we go. this is the Apex Pro Hunter by John Jeffries Custom Catapults same thing that's wearing 0 0.72 GZK green as well 24 to 19 taper. I'll link uh, John's Facebook page in the description. You can go have a look at some of his work. I've got quite a few customs by John, and honestly, he's the best builder in the UK. Work uh, craftsmanship on his frames and that, uh, 10 out of 10. I've got, right, these are just a few little bits that I take uh, with me if I'm, if I'm going fishing. Just some little curly tail worms, put them in a jig head rig, and they're good for if I'm hand lining. I'll get to that in a minute because I do go hand lining. Uh, so, yeah, curly tail worms, number four, non toxic uh, lead shot, and then simple Victorian, uh, Victorian ox pocket knife, and just some other little bits, little uh, jig head. Paddle tail, and then some uh, size six micro barbed uh, hooks. Don't go fully barbed because it's more of a pain in the ass to remove them. On it time, I'll go fully barbed. Obviously, if I'm fishing for pike, if I'm taking my uh, full bait caster set up with me, which I don't want to mooch because it's too much stuff to be loving about. But yeah, a few fishing bits, keep them in the case, take them with me. Like I said, I do go on lining. So I've got 
This is my uh, oboe reel. In fact, I need to put my elastic band back on that. So, I'll do that now. But yeah, like I was saying, this is my oboe reel. It's made out of PPU. Really nice grain in that. Uh, that's from uh, Mr. Scooty. 1968. I'll link his Etsy, Etsy account in the description, along with other stuff. But yeah, really nice obo reel. Perfect size, really, for my hands anyway. And obviously, put all your line on. Got a compartment in bottom with a cork. You can keep extra fishing bits just in there. I just shove back in. That like says it's just just saves taking my bait cast to set up out with me. Obviously, I don't fish for pike with this. This is mainly for if I see a little little beck or something, and uh, might happen to be some trout in. But yeah, really nice hand line with that Pippa U. Uh, like I said, I'll link Mr. Scooty in the uh, description on the other stuff. So I'll take that with me. Also, take a pair of uh, pliers. Obviously, we are, they are micro barbed, so there's a bit of resistance when you're removing hooks. And if a fish is deep hooked, then you want to you want to have the right equipment to be able to remove them. So these are Daiwa Pro Rex uh, pliers. Perfect for removing hooks out of trout. We've only got a few more bits left in here. Coming to an end now. Now it's a strange one. A spare pair of socks. No worse than wet feet. Uh, obviously, if you're going out with your boots on, walking through grass if it's been raining, there's no worse. You don't want wet feet, just change your socks. So I always keep a spare pair of socks with me, so I can change them when I get back to the car. That's an important one. Uh, pair of gloves. These are just latex gloves. Um, I do normally carry uh, sandwich bags or freezer bags with me and all, because I do like to go... Uh, got me rabbits and skin the pigeons and breast the pigeons and that while out on field. Saves me fetching them home, saves me having mess at home. So, like I said, there is normally bags in with these gloves. Um, but I've used them up, so I will be putting some more in there. Um, important one, you don't want to be fetching your rubbish home. And also carry a bottle with seeds and peanuts and sunflower seeds and stuff in and because I, on, my, on my permission I have um, squirrel feeders and stuff like that so obviously if, I'm, if I go they happen to be empty I've always got a spare spare uh, stash of feed to put in my feeders and they never go empty them so I always take that with me and then my knife same as usual ferro rod obviously I do take a lighter just in case Ferro rod and then the Gorp by Hell Knives. Stainless steel blade. Really thick blade as well. Curly wood handle. Full tang knife. Can't go wrong with that, it's solid. Really nice knife. But yeah, that's my knife that tackle me. Obviously along with my Victorian Ox, but that's my main hunting knife. I've been out this morning and got a pigeon foot barbecue I'm having tonight, but uh, I didn't do a proper video for it. I will stick a clip in the end of it. Um, just a quick video of me getting it and stuff like that. But I'll be, like I said, I'll be doing a full video in the next couple of days of me going out and hunting and doing a bit of fishing. But I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment, turn on post notifications. And I'll see you in a couple of days with a new video. Cheers.